guys welcome to today's video a lot of you guys want to know how much did it actually cost for us to buy our horse um, I'm gonna tell you in today's video this has been a really highly requested video a lot of you guys really want to know how much did it cost to buy us our horse if you've been following along on our horse teacher then you guys know that we just recently bought our very first horse. We've been leasing um, previously and we finally took the plunge and bought ourselves a horse. The horse is actually for our oldest daughter, Gabby, um, and we have been loving having him. It's been a great experience and I'm gonna share with you right now how much it costs. Basically, um, this, this cost layout is what we needed being brand new ho horse owners um, going from having nothing to having everything we need to get our horse, bring it home, and ride him. Um, so our horse cost $5,000. That was how much they asked for him. That's how much we paid for him. We thought that he was very well worth the money and we're really happy to um, have found him. So before we could even purchase the horse, we decided that it was really important for us to have a vet check. So. Um, we did do that and it cost $350. It was really well spent money because we knew that the horse that we were buying was completely sound and, and healthy. Before we could bring him home, we had to make sure that we had a home to bring him to. So I'm going to include our boarding fees here because before I could even bring the horse home, we needed to pay that. So we pay $400 a month and I paid that just before he came home. So after I figured out where he was gonna live, um, we needed to get him home. We don't have a trailer and a truck, so I needed to pay somebody to do trailering for us, and trailering cost $75. So uh, the next couple of costs were hidden fees that we didn't think about, that we had no idea that we even needed. Before he could even get on the trailer, we needed to have shipping boots that cost $52, and that was for all four shipping boots and there to protect him on the trailer in case he freaks out or in case of emergency or whatever, they're just for protection. We also needed a helmet for him and that cost $40. And we were really lucky that we bought the helmet because getting on the trailer, he was a little bit iffy about it and he actually reared up a little and banged his head on the top of it. So we were happy to have the helmet. Another unexpected cost that we weren't planning on we needed to have a leather halter and so a lot of you guys probably already know that leather is breakaway so much more safe for um, in the trailers so we bought one of those and that cost sixty dollars we also had to have a lead rope because believe it or not with one horse we only have one lead rope so we did not have a lead rope for him we needed to purchase that and that was fifteen dollars another thing that we didn't really think through when we first purchased him we were just thinking we need to get him home but we had to go a little bit further than that we need to think about what we needed for when we actually got him home and we realized that we needed um, a blanket for him that was appropriate for the weather because it's still really cold here in Canada um, we got him April the first and it still feels like winter so uh, that we had to buy a blanket and that was $239. Another thing that we had to think about um, before he came home was the food. We knew that we did not want to make any big changes for him because just coming home with us was going to be a big enough change as it was. We wanted to keep him on everything exactly the same. We didn't want to make anything different. Um, and so we needed to go and buy his food separately from what's delivered to our barn. Um, so he takes two different kinds of food, two different kinds of grain, and basically those two bags and they're $30 each. So his food was $60. Another thing that we needed to get for him was any kind of supplements that he was on. And he does take a supplement, a preventative. He takes um, a pure glucosamine and that we got a big, huge tub of that and that was $101. A lot of the fun things that we really like to buy are the things that we bought next. He needed a nylon halter for taking him back and forth from the paddock to the barn. And uh, they, the lady that sold him to us was so nice. And she actually bought him a brand new halter just for him um, in the color that Gabby picked, which is this really, really nice red halter. And we still use it because it's just beautiful and we love it. Luckily, we were also able to purchase his saddle um, and we were really grateful for that because the saddle already fits the horse and we didn't have to go through the whole saddle fitting and try and figure out what saddle would be good for him. Um, so we just bought the saddle that he had been using and that worked out really, really well. And the saddle um, is a Val de Bois saddle and it was $400. Um, we were able to go to the store and buy the Val de Bois, same name brand, bridle, matching bridle in the same color um, for 146 
for $147. Um, and it's a padded one. The lady was really super nice, like I said, and she also gave us his bit for free. It's the bit that he used when we tried him for our trial, and um, it is a happy bit. So we were really happy with that and super thankful that we didn't have to buy it. Our barn requires all riders to ride in safety stirrups, and they have the elastic that will pop off so you're, if your foot got caught, you're not being dragged. We had to buy those, and those are $54. The only other thing that we needed to buy before she could ride him was a saddle pad and we actually ended up buying a couple of them but the one that she rides in all the time was $90. It's a really nice red one that she just bought recently. And that's it you guys. That's it. That's all that we ended up having to need specifically for our horse when we got him. Um, as you can see the total is $7,083. The horse cost $5,000. That's a difference of $2,083. Um, I was actually surprised that it cost that much more for us to buy a horse and to bring him home. And I think it's because I didn't really actually think about all the extra costs. I didn't prepare. I didn't, I didn't have it all planned out. I just went from knowing that he was the horse that we wanted to buy and then going down the line and figuring out all the things that we needed to buy. So in the future, I think I would make a list before we bought a horse of all the things that we needed. We probably could have saved some money um, buying something secondhand. We are really happy to have him. We're really happy. It went way more smoothly than I thought that it was gonna go. And we are really happy how it all turned out. We'll do it again in a heartbeat now that we know um, how easy it was and how painless it was. Obviously these costs are specific to us. It would definitely be different if you rode at a different level or if you bought a horse at a different price level or um, just even location can make the cost of all these things change drastically. But this is how much it costs for us and I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully this list of all the things that we needed to buy before we could bring our horse home, help somebody out there and be prepared, be a little more prepared before they bring their first horse home. I love doing these sit down videos. If you are interested in more of these sit down videos, please leave in the comment below what kind of video you'd like to see. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye guys. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.